heroes and history. The Salem Witch Trials. Belief in Witches. A long time ago, people in Europe and America believed that witches made people sick, caused fires, accidents, runaway pigs, and other bad luck. Some towns paid witch hunters to find out who was causing these problems. English law said that a witch must die from 1484 until 1750. England hanged or burned more than 200,000 people that people thought were witches. In America, the worst case of witch hunting was in Salem, in the colony of Massachusetts. It started in February 1692. The Accusers Two young girls in Salem began to act in strange ways. They screamed, threw things, and crawled under furniture. They had convulsions. Doctors could not find the cause. The girls said that witches were causing their pain. The girls accused women they didn't like. Sarah Good, Sarah Osborne, and Tituba, a West Indian slave. In court, Salem authorities arrested these three women and put them in jail. The women said they were innocent, but in court, the judges did not believe them. They believed the accusers. The judges demanded that the three women confess. Tatuba's confession. Tatuba's owner beat her for lying in court. He was sure she was a witch. Tatuba thought that it was better to lie and confess to being a witch. On the second day in court, Tatuba made up a story. The devil said he would kill me if I did not sign my name in his book. She said that the other two women in jail were also witches. She said there were more witches in the village. More accusers. Other women in the village accused nine more people of being witches. Each of the accused women knew that she herself was innocent, but they each believed that some of the others were witches. When they were in the courtroom, the young girls fell on the floor and had convulsions. The judges took the girl's behavior as evidence that the women on trial were witches. The accused women did not know how they could defend themselves. They were afraid of dying. So some of the accused women 
did what Tatuba did. They told stories about the devil and his book. They accused still more people of being witches. By the end of May 1692, the people of Salem had accused 62 of their neighbors. They accused anyone they didn't like. Evidence Against Witches Seventy accusers in Salem testified in court that the specters of witches were tormenting them. They accused men, too. The jail was full. The court officers examined the bodies of the accused people. They looked for lumps or dark spots. People believed that these were signs made by the devil. Officers found such devil's marks on almost all of the accused people. The Trials The witch trials in Salem began in mid-June. The families of the accused people knew that their loved ones were not witches. They and friends signed petitions. They talked to the judges. The judges did not listen to them. Juries decided that 14 women and five men were indeed witches. Within a few months, Salem hanged 19 innocent people. Some good sense at last. Cotton Mather was a Puritan minister who wrote about the witch trials. He believed that some of the people truly were witches, but he thought that others might be innocent. A new governor of Massachusetts, William Phipps, finally gave a new order for the courts. Spectral evidence was not enough to convict a person of being a witch. Neither were convulsions of the accusers. After Phipps' order, there were no more hangings. The judges decided that the other 40 people were not witches. Fourteen years later, one of the most active accusers apologized. She told her church members that the devil had tricked her. The devil had made her accuse innocent people. She asked for forgiveness. The families of those who were hanged as witches wanted the court to declare them innocent. It didn't happen. Many years later, the descendants of the innocents wanted to honor their memories. In 1962, they held the 300th anniversary of the witch trials. Years after that, the Massachusetts legislature finally cleared the names of all the people who had been convicted of being witches. Today, a witch hunt is a search to connect an innocent person with possible crimes. Usually, that person has opinions which are unpopular. Read to you by Jean Zerna, Master Spoken English. 
www.thepowerofpositivity.com.